Hello, everyone. I've been rushing around and my face is red because I was hot. Don't ask me why I have a sweatshirt on. Well, actually, I had the sweatshirt on and then I was rushing around and then I got hot. <laughs> if I wasn't rushing around, I wouldn't have gotten hot. Anyway, happy Labor Day to everyone. It is Monday, September 4th. It's actually pretty late and I wasn't sure what I wanted to eat and I checked out Papa John's and they had a special for um, their extra large pizza which I've never had before I've never had the extra large so I got it was extra large with two toppings for $11 or $11.99 one of the two it was either $11 he didn't give me a receipt well actually probably in my email and then um, I think it's everywhere it was $11 so that's not bad one extra large two topping pizza for $11 um, so I got that and we'll try their extra large pizza and then I you get rewards um, with Papa John's if you're signed up and I had enough rewards for a free dessert so I got the Cinna Bun things, which I've never had their dessert before. Ooh, that looks good. So let's get started. I'm hungry. There's their Cinna, what do they call them? Cinna Bun? Cinna Bun? Never had their dessert before, so I will try that. I'm just going to stick this, Sebastian. I'm going to. So yeah, the dessert was free. So I got pepperoni and mushroom because I like their, ooh, those are big slices, aren't they? Oh my Lord have mercy. This might not even fit in my fridge, this box. Here we go, Papa John's extra large pizza with pepperoni and mushroom. That's what's for dinner tonight. Because I decided not to go to the beach. I actually walked the dogs today. I was like, I can't go to the beach right now because I got work to do. I have homework. I walked the dogs today because I think it's supposed to rain Wednesday. And I have a doctor appointment on Thursday to get that off the, what is it, up dot? A complete abdominal ultrasound and that's like 8 45 in the morning and it's like an hour away those are some pretty big slices I guess that's why they call it extra large we'll see how good it tastes yeah this box is definitely not gonna fit in my fridge I just have a small fridge That looks pretty tasty though. I don't use the garlic sauce and that pepper is going to be way too hot. So try to leave. Is that going to be in the way for you guys? Here, I'll stick it over here. I don't want it. I don't want y'all to be, you guys. The guy I walk the dog for, dogs for, his neighbor just keeps giving me all these peppers and tomatoes. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one tomatoes. Twenty-one tomatoes. So I think I'm gonna try. Um, he had given me a whole bunch of tomatoes, and I like diced them up and put onions fresh garlic, fresh onion, fresh garlic, um, for my, and I simmered them. I just boiled them, got the skins off. You just boil them for like a quick second, got the, get the skins off. And, um, then you cut them up and add whatever spices you want. And then you can stick it in your chili. So I'm trying to decide, I've never made homemade pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce, and I'm wondering how much I would get from that. 
so I may possibly try that. I have to look at some recipes first just to get an idea. So I may do that or I just may do more of the tomatoes for chili and just freeze it. So yeah, happy Labor Day again. Go on, you have your, you can have the first bite. That looks tasty, doesn't it? Those are some definitely big slices. This is their extra large. It is pretty late. I think it's like, what, it's around nine. But I had my, um, my draft tonight for fantasy football. Tasty. I haven't had one of their regular, um, pizza crust in a long time. I've been ordering their uh, pan pizza for like probably a year. Pretty tasty. I was going to have it this way so you guys can see better, but I'm going to end up making a mess. I like their, mu I like Papa John's mushrooms too. Their mushroom and pepperoni is pretty darn good. Still have my sister's dog. I may be taking her back tonight. <laughs> my sister misses her. I was like, right before the pizza got here. I sent her a message and I said, I can either bring her tonight after I'm done eating or tomorrow morning when I get up. She just said, I'll be up, but you don't have to come out late. You can bring her tomorrow. I'm ready. I'm stuffing my face now. See, so yeah, I didn't go to the beach. My one sister did, though. So, we were talking earlier with my sisters, and we might have try to have like a belated Labor Day cookout. I think this might be the first time we didn't get together. For a holiday cookout. Guess what Sebastian's doing? Listen. Sweet tea. Listen. Take a guess. He changed his mind though. He was halfway in the um in the count in the cupboard underneath the sink he was halfway in but he changed his mind
Thumbs up to you, Papa John's. This is very tasty. So have I done anything else since I talked to you guys last? I think Arby's was the last thing I had. Gotta upload it. I don't think I've done anything special. Nothing special on my end. I am being my normal procrastinator self with my homework already. What else is no? I started my homework last week and I did some of it like the discussion stuff but actually this is pretty much just dough so I think I'm gonna save myself some of that and just get that sauce because it's good But I had, um, for my one class, I had a paper due last night at 11.59 p.m. And I just started it yesterday. And then for my other class, I had a quiz that was also due at 11.59 last night. And of course, I wait till the last minute and I did it last night. I honestly don't know why I do that. I really don't. But I will say. I think I've been that way pretty much my whole life. Ooh, look at it. Look at that glistening grease. <laughs> I walked three miles today. <clears throat> so I think I don't think this will hurt too bad. <laughs> what did I eat yesterday? Oh, I just made it a quick cheese steak and actually I got um green pepper, no, red peppers, yellow peppers and orange peppers and a sweet onion and I was going to make it into like a cheesesteak sub with the pep all the different peppers but stupid me forgot the actual rolls to put it on so I was like well you know what that's what I was in the mood for so I just put it on bread but putting a cheesesteak sandwich on bread is not the best idea because it gets kind of soggy so when I go to the store next which may be tomorrow I will get the sub rolls and I actually also forgot mushrooms so and then I'll make that I may keep one of those tomatoes or two of them really been in the mood for BLT so I might get some bacon and then and then um the 
guy and walk the dog toward his neighbor. He goes to this butcher, this butcher shop where they like make their own sausage and all that. And he got, he wanted me to try it. He got, um, I'm not a huge fan of sausage. I'm not a huge fan of sausage, but he wanted me to try it, so I was like, all right. But he got um, cage, a sausage, Cajun sausage, and it's like the long ones. So I just have to cut them to fit on a roll or whatever. Cajun is the one, and then the other one is garlic, garlic and something else. So I will try it. So I want to save some of the onions and peppers and stuff to put on one of the sausages. So I will try it. But what do I always say? If I bite into anything hard when I'm eating that sausage, I'm done. I will not be able to finish it. Nope. It grosses me out. So yeah. I wasn't even sure if Papa John's was open. you know, all day because of Labor Day. I think they closed early though. I think they were closing soon. Sorry, my pile of... Then I was kind of in the mood for um, Five Guys, but I didn't feel like going anywhere. Trying to save my gas. I'll be using a lot going to my sister's to take the, her dog back. And then Thursday when I have to drive down to that appointment. Gas is going up like crazy. They say it's because of the hurricane. Hurricane Harvey. You playing with Riley Sebastian? I know you're gonna eat next. I promise. I'm gonna get one more piece. I won't be able to eat more than one more. Especially if we're gonna try that dessert. There's a mushroom hanging off. Yeah, this is pretty good, the uh, extra large. I think their pizza in general just tastes a lot better. You know, I think it just tastes fresh. Their sauce is good. The cheese is good. Excuse me. I'm gonna feed you as soon as I'm done. Yes, I am. Woo, Nelly! So I hope you guys had a good, a happy Labor Day. I know not every, not every place celebrates it, just the United States, but I 
if you celebrate it, I hope you had fun. And if you didn't do anything, it's okay, because I didn't either. Felt like some sauce hit my face. Woo! I really have no idea where I'm going to put that box. Because I'm almost positive that that's not going to fit in my fridge. I might have to. move some stuff around. Man, in my um, fantasy football, I had to, I picked, I was seventh, so I got, I had to wait till the seventh pick to get my first pick. So of course, by the time it was my turn to pick, all the good people were chosen. <laughs> well, the top people, Le'Veon, they picked Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown. I had these were my picks that. I worked on this earlier today, too. My running backs, and I had them in order, like I was going to pick Le'Veon Bell first, Devontae Freeman second, C.J. Anderson third, David Johnson fourth, but I probably would have picked David Johnson over C.J. Anderson. Let me just tell you, I'll, okay, for... Running backs, I had Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson, Melvin Gordon, LaShawn McCoy, Devontae Freeman. Uh, is it J-A-J-E? I don't know how to pronounce it. J-A-J-A-Y-I. A-J-E. C.J. Anderson, Mark Ingram, Adrian Peterson, Tevin Coleman, Jordan Howard. So, of course, Le'Veon Bell was already taken. David Johnson was taken. Melvin Gordon was taken. LaShawn McCoy was taken. I got Devontae Freeman. That was my first pick. For tight ends, I had Rob Gronkowski, Travis, was it Kelts? Kelty? Greg Olson, Jordan Reed, Tyler Eifert, Jimmy Graham, Delaney Walker, Zach Ertz, Hunter Henry, Eric is it Ebron? Kyle Rudolph. And of course, Rob Gronkowski was already taken, so I got Greg Olson. And then I also, I think I picked another one at the end. I don't remember. I have to, or no, I did take a picture. And then for kickers, my, I had Steven Gronkowski, Goskowski, however you pronounce his name, Matt Bryant, Chris Boswell, Dan Bailey. Well, Goskowski, however you say his name, was already taken. So I chose Chris Boswell. Letting you all in on my secrets. Wide receivers, my first pick would have been Antonio Brown, but he was already taken, of course. Um, Julio, Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Odell Beckham Jr., Jordy Nelson, Tyreek Hill, A.J. Green, Michael Thomas, Dez Bryant, Emmanuel Sanders, Doug Baldwin. And I believe... Who did I pick? Because I know Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Odell Beckham, Jordy Nelson, they were all taken by the time it was my pick. 
So who did I pick? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I picked... Okay, I picked Des Bryant. That must have been my first pick. So I have Des Bryant. And then I picked Martavius Bryant. And I picked K. Wright. I think that was... I don't know his first, I don't know his first name. And then something Gabriel. I had to like look online because I didn't have any more written down. And then for my defense, I picked Denver. And then for my backup, did I pick Seattle? Or didn't I choose a backup? No, I didn't. I just have Denver as my Denver as my um, defense, and then for quarterbacks, of course, I did get my pick on that. I got Ben Roethlisberger, and then my backup, I got da, 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 da. yeah. All these were already taken by the time it was by the time the second round already came out, or by the time. Um, oh, Palmer. Palmer is my backup quarterback. So we'll see. I don't have as good as a good as a team as I did last year. Last year I had Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, Ben Roethlisberger. But it's okay. Can't always win. Can't win them all. Look at this. I know, I don't eat the crust. I'm sorry. Sometimes I do. It depends. Like... I will eat the crust on their pan pizza, but the reason why is because it's like crunchy and buttery. And I will eat the crust on like frozen pizzas usually. Okay, I need to grab another plate for And I really hope I did hit record. Yes. And of course, we're at 30 minutes already. So I will work on getting this uploaded tonight. It's just going to be late by the time it's posted. I'm just going to cut a little piece here of the corner. Yeah, I've never had this before. But it was free with my points. It smells yummy. It smells cinnamony. Cinnamony. Oh, I went when I went to the store the other day when I forgot my rolls. I got um they had the uh cotton candy grapes. Have I eaten them for you guys before? I don't remember. I'll show you before I end this video. I can't remember, but they're pretty tasty. Here, you guys can have the first one. It's like icing, Cinnabon, cinnamon, with some icing on it. I'll find the technical term in a second. Not bad. But I wish I had more icing. I wish it had icing that I could just like pour over it or dip it. 
but it is tasty. Okay, this is called Cinnamon Pool Aparts. I'm not sure how much they are regu regularly because I got it for free because of the rewards. <clears throat> Cinnamon. It's kind of like a Is there walnuts on there? Maybe not. <coughs> Look. Kind of like the Pillsbury cinnamon, cinnamon buns. Kind of what it reminds me of. Papa John's. I'm gonna look. I see that it is spit. <laughs> I see that. Uh, where's their size? They have gluten-free pizza now at Papa John's. My sister will like that. Desserts. Okay. That doesn't have any nuts. It says bite-sized sweet rolled dough covered in cinnamon and sugar topped with cinnamon crumbles, then baked and drizzled with cream cheese icing. Oh my goodness, let me tell you guys. So that night that I had um, Arby's, I told you I knew my mouth was going to be dry because it usually always is after I eat Arby's. Let me just tell you. You know how I drank that little glass of water with my meal? I ended up having at least four more of those after I was done recording that video. My mouth was so dry, it wasn't even funny. And then I was so mad because I woke up three times, three times in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom because water makes me pee, so. Man. I wish they wouldn't put as much, excuse me, sodium as they do. Does anyone else get like that? Like if you eat something that has a lot of sodium, your mouth gets so freaking dry. It's like unbelievable. I think that RB sandwich had like what? 1900 milligrams I think of sodium there is no need for that much sodium but then again there's no need for me to be eating it but it looked good <laughs> and I never had that sandwich before well that, they gave me the wrong sandwich but it was still good and it actually had less sodium than the turkey. But yeah, my mouth was so dry. I was just down in the water after that. Maybe if I know when I'm going to... eat something that I know does that to me, maybe I should just like drink a bunch of water beforehand. You know? I'm stuck. That's it. Woo, Nelly! Those are pretty good.
Let me show you those grapes really quick. And then I will say my goodbyes. I can't remember if I did a video on them before. I'm pretty sure I told you guys about them, but. Yeah, these are cotton candy grapes. It was like 11 bucks for this. I already ate like half of them. It was pretty cool. 11 bucks for this full bag. <laughs> Is that not crazy? But they are pretty tasty. They are pretty tasty. But yeah, they taste like, uh, I think they taste more like cotton candy when you first put them in your mouth and, and chew them. But they're pretty darn good, and I don't think they're going to be having any more of them this year. Because apparently they're only you, they're only, you only get them uh, in a short time in the summer. Something like that. I thought that's what I read. All right. <clears throat> That is all I have for you guys. Let me see what my sister said. <laughs> my sister. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna feed Rai Rai here. You gonna say bye, Rai? I know, this, oh, this is your last time on my video. You're gonna go home. Yes. Ah! <laughs> you gonna say bye? Say bye. Say bye, Ray. This is the last time you're gonna be in one of my videos. Say bye. There you go, say bye. I know, we're gonna go outside. I know. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat that delicious pizza. It was my first time trying uh, Papa John's Extra Large. And it was my first time trying their Cinna, what are they called? Pull apart Cinna something? It'll be in the description. But yeah, happy Labor Day again to everyone. I hope you all have a great week. I am not absolutely sure what I'm going to be doing next as far as videos go. I know I'm pretty much, I'm going to do BLTs soon because I want to use some, those tomatoes, at least one or two of them. I'm still going to do the, another video that I told you guys about the other week, which could be sometime this weekend, later in the week, possibly. Um, what else? A cheese steak with the peppers and stuff. I just got to go get the rolls and mushrooms. That's what I know. Oh, and then I, there is another, there's actually, there's two soups I want to make, but the weather's starting to get a little bit cooler now. So that stuff is good for the winter. But anyway, you'll just have to wait and see what I do next because I don't even know myself. But yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you all have a great week. And for those of you, did you all wait real quick? Um, that Hurricane Irma, did you see it's um, as of right now? Now things could still change, but uh, when I was watching it earlier today, they were saying that it's supposed to go like past instead of coming up the east coast like it was going to well i shouldn't say going to because it's so far out but that's what the path was showing that it was going to come up the, the east coast and possibly hit around uh, washington dc and then i think at one point they said through new york city and then another time it said like uh, north carolina south carolina but now it changed again to um, they think more than likely it's going to go through and hit um, Miami, Florida. So if it keeps that path, I hope you all stay safe in Florida because it's a pretty strong storm. So start planning now just in case and stay safe. And I hope all of you in Texas, I hope you all are doing well with all the flooding and Hurricane Harvey that went through. All these hurricanes. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll be posting another video later in the week. Bye, everyone.